Welcome to the first installment of Wallaby Joe Classic Matches. This is going to be from Gouge, starting in 2006. It's going to be a little picture episode of this one, because unfortunately I don't have the videos for it. But we do have some videos, and we'll be bringing those to you shortly. The first match started in Gouge, July 19th, at King's Barcade in Raleigh, North Carolina. It was Wallaby Joe versus Go Go the Gay Gorilla. Now, a great introduction. I brought a banana trying to, you know, taste a little monkey. But apparently, you know, sometimes that other, things just don't go quite as planned. Now, you might be asking, Wallaby, why are you in the ring with a overgrown monkey with a tutu? Well, that was the promoter's idea. Of course, Wallaby would not have done that. So here you see where I'm basically hip-tossing Go-Go the Gay Gorilla, which means, you know, us Aussies, we're, we're pretty big like that. We, we can take down all those forest animals. And then once we do that, you know... Well, we'll just what are you doing, Mike? I, I told you not, not to come in today, Russell. This is just a one thing, one person job. We, we don't need you, mate. It's okay. But, but I want to see what you... Why are you wrestling a gorilla? Well, sometimes... In Where the, am I? But you're, you're not here right yet, and, and sometimes... In the why end, is the referee pointing up? Um... I don't know. I was busy slamming the gorilla, as you can see. I wasn't even looking at the ref. I, I don't pay attention to zebras when there's gorillas around. You, you know, like, you don't do that. So anyway, I guess you're just going to sit here, right? Might as well. All right. Do me a favor. Just sit there and just, just I'm, 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 I'm letting our fans know some old classic matches of Wallaby Joe and, and just sit Aww. back like a fan and enjoy. You know, in other words, shh. So anyway, like I said, I was hip-tossing Go-Go the Gay Gorilla, and, you know, I was pretty much dominating the match. Unfortunately, there were times, you know, of course, as a gorilla does, they're a little tricky. It, Did you give him your lunch money, Mike? It, it's a gorilla. It, it doesn't need lunch money. <laughs> it looks like he's trying to take your lunch money. No, he's actually doing a body slam. Oh. Uh, it's a body slam. I don't know how the gorilla would know how to do a body slam, but, you know, everybody, we're all primates somehow, some way, so I'm guessing that's what happened. It's probably because it was wearing shoes. Really, mate? <laughs> really? Uh, boom! <laughs> well, I'm going to go to the next one. Anyway, so as you can see... I just here, wanted to know. <laughs> right, you dropped your banana, Mike. Right there. Oh my God. Anyway, <laughs> so this, I, I had to give the monkey a taste of its own medicine, and I, I decided to give him a suplex. I was just standard, you know, snap suplex, and yeah, there's a little bit of a banana in the way, as you can see. It was interfering. Did with you step. slip on the banana and fall? I was, I was just getting to that, uh, as you can see by my footing. It's a little off, which means I did slip on the banana, um, oh. but I still managed to get the move off. And, you know, and continue to dominate the, this monkey, the overgrown monkey. It's a gorilla. And monkey. then, unfortunately, at the end of the match, um, I, he did his, his, his patented finisher move. Uh, which what, is the pretty make much out of doom? I'm not trying to make out with you. No. No. It, are, you, are you sure this show thing is a good idea? I don't not with you here, mate. Absolutely not. Uh, anyway, uh... Mate, you're breaking my concentration, mate. So, anyway, uh, this is the banana slam, which is pretty much what he does. <laughs> Shut up, wrestle. I know where you're going with it. It's a PJ show. <laughs> but, yes, this is patented banana slam, and, unfortunately, he did get the three count on me that night, July 19, 2006, at King's Barcade. Um, so, that was my, my oh, debut man. at Gouge. And and I lost. It, it was it was an unfortunate loss. But when you get you know it, animals are tricky. Animals are tricky, especially animals wearing pink too. Well, I hadn't showed up yet, so no, you you were still over there in broom sweeping up. Anyway, I want to stay there too from fighting gorillas and getting raped by two two wearing gorillas. It it wasn't a rape. It was a Bobby doll, and it missed me by like three inches. Okay, mate. And I don't want to talk about that incident in that match. There was a reason that picture was kept out. Okay, there, there was monkey spanking, and it was just—it was a horrible match, mate. And I'd appreciate it if we didn't go there. Okay, so anyway, August fifth, two thousand six, Wolby had his rematch against Go Go the Gay Gorilla.
Butner Sports Complex in Butner, North Carolina. In what, North Carolina? Butner? Butner. B U T N E R. Now, he said Butner. He brought his, he brought his cheeky little mate, uh, uh, a little short Aboriginal type little mate, but he was Caucasian, and his name was Chris Donato. He can't be Caucasian and Aboriginal. Well, but I was referring to his size, mate. So, well, then, yeah. as, as you can see, part way through the match, he he illegally I came in. The news. And, what the bloody? I'm commentating today. Wait, what? <laughs> What's up, mates? What are you doing here? Yes. Jason. <laughs> what? Yes, yes, it is me, the one and only, the original Nightmare on Elm Street, the cyberpunk, Jason Havoc, gracing you once again with his presence. And is, what's that guy like? Balls. Is that Balls Mahoney? <laughs> Did you work Balls Mahoney? No. Is that, I, look, look, mate, I, okay, I, I, I'm supposed to be doing something in private today, and uh, Rassel's already here. We really don't well, need you well, here, mate. Rassel was uh, the one that told me. Oh dear, I saw him, and, you know. Bloody traitor. <laughs> he told me what was going on uh, here. What the hell? Who knows more about this than I do? Your former tag team partner. Uh, I'm not understanding. And so, so is that Midget you then? No. Well, Midget's name is Chris is what, Let's get back to that. I want to know more about that. Uh, basically, he was a little mad because I played keep away from the little fella. He likes like your bum. Well, no, he was actually in position, as you can what? see. Why is Wee Man attacking you? <laughs> Where's Johnny Knoxville? Mate, he likes to be called Knoxville. little people, not Wee we, Mate, you're going to get a suit, okay? What? That's the guy's name. So what he, he got bad and, and part way through the match, and I don't know why the ref didn't see it. As you can plainly see here, the ref is right there looking. He had a chain in his hand, and he got the wallaby below the belt with it, which cost me the match. I think Hornswoggle's after your Lucky Charms. <laughs> well, I like Lucky Charms, and I appreciate it. If we could just carry on with the commentation. Are you back in the ring with, ring with the gorilla <laughs> again? <laughs> We've been back in the bloody ring with the bloody damn gorilla, mate. Pay attention. Whoa, that's a gorilla. It's Coco the Gay Gorilla. Fuck. And he's getting the beginning of the, the banana slam. Because Chris <laughs> and Otto <laughs> interfered. <laughs> What? He said banana. Well, why is it holding your wiener? It's bloody, bloody, bloody banana. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm bloody so sorry. Um, anyway, let me try to get through this now. I'll try to go as quick as possible. I'm going to cut the peanut gallery out. <laughs> anyway. You do realize that gorilla's wearing slacks, right? Hmm? Men's white house. So, anyway, the banana slam. Oh, the and, yes, that's the Bobby in the ring. Um, Looks like it broke <coughs> half of it off in his butt. All sweets his legs. I don't you know, want to discuss that anyway. Yeah, I lost that match, too. It was a gorilla, and there were some things that happened in the match. Yeah, I once heard about a guy who got a Dr. Zayas all stuck on his butt. A what? A Dr. Zayas figure. You know, playing of the Apes. He's doing it again, mate. He's bringing up the movie references, and we're talking about wrestling. Well, this was your one. No, it was my idea to do it by my bloody self. You know the gorilla's got shoes? <laughs> Apparently, that's not going to happen. You know the gorilla's got shoes, right? Where's the rest of the yes, crowd? Yes, There's like five pointed that out in the match before. Anyway. Oh, my. Whoa, so, whoa. so, hold on, mate. Hold on. So, there was, after this match was over... There was another match, the main event, to decide because Gouch had just begun not too long before this. So it was to decide the heavyweight champion. It was Scab versus Trailer Park Heat. So Scab and Trailer Park Heat went for a, a brutal match, at which point I, I felt there should have been more attention paid to me. I should not have to deal with, obviously, what I had to deal with here with a, a go go the gay gorilla and a, a little person and go on, but just all that stuff. So I interrupted that match, and at which point, because Trailer Park Heat had almost the win, I just didn't feel Park it was Heat. done right. What? He had Trailer Park Heat. How do you get Trailer Park Heat anyway? What, are you going to buy a heater? <laughs> uh, 